Beady eyes. <laughs> well, well, I didn't think it was very funny. Beady eyes, cunning. Ha! Kids got lousy eyesight. I'm sure they'll both come to appreciate your finer qualities, Madison. <laughs> At least we know they're safe now. So what am I going to eat tonight, Mum? I'm a growing lad. I need huge meals at least five times a day. Right. Here's some money. Go and find a chip shop somewhere and get us all some supper. I'll make a cup of tea. OK. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, you won't worry, will you? No. I thought not. See ya. See you, Matt. Later! Oh, that's funny. There's no water. You sure? No. Nothing. Hmm. Try under the sink. Hang on, Mrs. H. Better let me have a look. Hmm. Yeah, that looks like the little doodad right there. That one? Yeah, just give that a turn. <laughs> you know, I think there's more to this place than meets the beak. Seems to have a life of its own. New places are always a bit strange. We'll soon get used... John, what have you been doing? Trying to have a bath. Oh, you meant to take your clothes off first. Didn't anyone ever tell you? Look, I'm in no mood for jokes, especially wet ones. Just want to sit down and have a nice cup of tea. Ah, uh, slight problem there. What's that? No water. Oh, unless we wring out your shirt. But we do have the solution, sir. Oh, yeah, what's that? You? You're a plumber. You want me to get your overalls and toolkit? <laughs> Not now, Madison. Tomorrow. For the moment, love, could you just get me a glass of water? A glass of milk? I don't know where it is. The good news is we found the children. Oh, great. We heard them upstairs. They were having a bit of a private conversation, so I didn't interrupt. I expect hunger will bring them down. In the morning, we'll get really organised. I was looking through the bookings. We've got quite a few guests arriving soon. You know, despite initial reservations, I think I... <laughs> I mean, we got the talent and the brains to make a go of this place. Whatever the problems. Suffers up. I got loads. Oh, oh Harry. That smells like a real lifesaver. Remind me to raise your pocket money. Oh, great. When? Uh, next year. After you pass your exams. And unpack the van. Yeah, and I... Uh, what are you staring at, Mum? We are not alone. Quiet, Madison. It's such a shame Harriet and Julian aren't here. They could have been a great help to us, and it would be so nice to meet them. You know I was there. How? Usually people don't, unless I want them to. Your shadow in the doorway. You must be Harriet. Hattie. I'm called Hattie. Right. And you know who we are. Would you like to join us? You could have a few chips. Ah. Go on. Right. <laughs> Um, would you like some fish too, Hattie? Thanks. Hey, what's It's all right, Harry. You can have some of mine. Um, have you been on a fast or something, Hattie? No, yeah, what? Oh, nothing. That bird, is he yours? Yeah, his name's Madison. He looks wicked. Can he kill? Well, Mad is brave, but he's more of an intellectual type. You know, he thinks a lot. But he thinks about killing. I doubt it. Uh, where's your brother? Outside. Too shy to come in. Aren't you? Not, not. Hi. Hello. Julian, isn't it? Jules. Would you like to join us for supper? I would offer you some chips, but your sister seems Eats to... like a horse, I do Here. Yeah. Mm. Have some of these. Hi. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That bird's very cool. This is killer. Aren't you? What about Mrs. Turtle? How'd you get on with her? Oh, pass the sick bag. Yep, yep, yep. Quick, give me some more food so I can forget about her. I don't even mention her name. She was okay. Cook stuff for us after graduate. That's funny. I didn't think there was anybody staying here. There's a note. It says, where's supper? Room five. Do you know anything about this, Hattie? Room five? Yeah, that's Fungus Face. He's been here years. Fungus Face? Yeah. It was the one named Mr. Fergus. You mean a long-stay guest? Yeah. What's he like? I don't know. Never seen him. But Gran said he always kept all the payments, though. Sends them down the dumb waiter. I'm still waiting. Get a move on. You've been cheek. What shall we do? No problem. Uh, hey! No, no. No, you can't give a guest bits of our leftovers. Why not? Gran did it all the time. Yeah. 
even sent him up into the dog food once. Old Fergus sent that a note saying, Give his compliments to the chef. <laughs> anyway, I've got to go. You come in. You come in, Hats. Yeah. Me and Jules always watch Coronation Street. That man still is one wicked bird. Bad. Well, she's quite a little firebrand. <laughs> yeah. Kind of cute, though. <laughs> they both seem fine. Hey, if I'm going to have to play dumb all the time, I'm going to blow a tail feather. Harry, if you think Hattie and Jules can be trusted, you really ought to let him in on the big secret sometime. You mean you? Precisely. Moi. It's a risk, Matt. But a necessary one. Mm, Madison's right, Harry. If we're going to live here, it'd be too much of a strain if Hattie and her brother didn't know. Yeah, and besides, you're going back to school to stay with Joe so you can finish your school year. I'm going to need someone to talk to. All right. I'm still not sure about this going back to school oh, business. Oh, look, we've been through all that, Harry. You're happy at that school. For the sake of just finishing out the year, it'll be worth staying at Joe's. Yeah, but if I'm going to be a professional footballer or a rock star, I don't need exams and stuff. No, pass the exams, then do what you like, Harry. There ain't no education like education. <sighs> all right. And I'll tell Hatchie and Jules about you. But I think I'd better get to know them a bit first. And now... Everyone out to the van. Time to unpack. Oh, no. oh. Uh, uh, oh, morning, Mrs. Turtle. Kate. <laughs> yes, and well may you cook. Kids. Why can't they grow up like adults, eh? Kids is always getting under your feet. Always trying to back talk you. <coughs> yes. You know what I'm talking about. And now these Allsworth turn up to make more mess. And who's going to have to clean it up, eh? <coughs> That's right, muggins. Well, they won't get any help from me, I can tell you. It won't be me who tells them that the stopcock is in the air in cupboard, oh no. And it won't be me as tells them that the accounts is under the stairs and need doing. Not me. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, slowly getting there. And you? Just sorting out the guest rooms. Except for number five. I leave that to Hattie. Mm, good idea. One thing that worries me though is I can't find the accounts anywhere. Well, they won't be under there. No, I know that. I thought your aunt was meant to be organised. Mm, just one of the many illusions she has about herself. Mm. Hi. Hiya. Oh, hello. I don't suppose either of you two know anything about the plumbing in this place? Nope. Oh, but I want to see this. What? <laughs> Sorry. Hattie told me you got a computer. I thought you might want to borrow these. Street Fighter 4. Maniac. <clears throat> That's not that yet. I know. I'm a member of this club. I get some games before they're in the shops. Why not load up? This one is pretty good too. Mad McCaw. Right. 